Louisiana Beer Reviews, Labatt Max Ice. Labatt Max Ice, formerly called Labatt Maximum Ice, 7.1% alcohol. Don't know when it came out. I do know that the regular Labatt Ice, which is like 5.6%, came out in 1993. Around the world, this is an Anheuser-Busch InBev brand. In the United States, however, it's handled by North American breweries, who also uh, owns Dundee, Pyramid, Magic Hat, and the Genesee brands, plus a lot of other stuff. Never had this before. I saw it in Florida at a convenience store, and I picked it right up. I do know that it gets a D plus on Beer Advocate, and it gets a low rating on Rate Beer. Okay. And Andy's Beer Reviews, he gave it two thumbs. You know, he gave it a, a glass empty, a thumbs down. He didn't like it. I'm going to be open-minded because I have no reason not to be. So let's get rolling. All right. Like a lot of uh, American lagers, Canadian lagers, it has a super thick white head. It's going to overflow. I mean, it's just wild um, the way that does that. But you know it's carbonated. It's got such a charge in it. It has a um, very, whoa, spilling it. it, has a very clear golden appearance. Uh, with lots lots of bubbles streaming up so the appearance is golden and um, it's a pretty standard looking beer well let's go ahead with the smell test I knew that thing was going to overflow I could just feel it <sighs> well typical uh, beer aroma grains uh, some breadiness and some uh, sharp hop spice, you know, is minimal, um, and clean water. So, it, it, it. hold on, I was going to say sweetness, but not really. Uh, so it's generic lager aroma, really. I would give the aroma a good rating. I mean, it's, it smells fine. You know? All right. Most importantly, the taste test. do get a rush of sweetness, which I didn't really detect in the aroma. The graininess, which is indistinguish indistinguishable, you can't tell if it's barley, malt, or corn, really. A slight hop bitterness to balance it out. Um, not really picking up any alcohol, though. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit now. Yeah, in the aftertaste, there's a little alcohol. It's not strong, it's mild. The body is pretty light. I was gonna, I was thinking it'd be medium bodied, but it's really light bodied and it's not harsh in any way and the drinkability is very high, I find. It's pretty dry. So, I mean, um, it's a, Pretty typical lager. It's just extra strength. It's not, um, you know, it's not weak at all. Let's see something. I don't want to spill this. I already spilt a little bit of it. Um, it says beer. Product of Canada, of course. Uh, well, I bet you wouldn't see it in Texas saying beer. In Texas, they gotta call it ale or lager. But I saw it in Florida, sold as beer. That's weird. Um, this is the second time I've seen that with a beer product. Uh, the other one was the um, Kalik from the Bahamas. So apparently they're slipping them in 
and the regulators are not catching it, which why should they care what it's called? I know there's a U.S. Uh, law that it can't be called beer if it's above 7.1% alcohol. Other countries don't have that stupid law. But there it is, right there in the can, beer. So let's hope that more people can bypass that foolish regulation. Anyway, one more sip. Okay, Andy, you didn't like it. It's your opinion, of course. I don't love this. I don't think it's fantastic, but I, I really don't see anything wrong with it. Um, it's like most American style lagers. I'm sure it wouldn't, if you drank the whole 24 ounce, it would knock you down, but uh, I'm going to drink it over an hour and a half period, so it shouldn't bother me too much. Um, I'm going to go one more. I got to give it one more soup. Yeah, I'm going to go with a, a B minus. I think it's good. I mean, and I'm I'm almost tempted to go with a B. Really. Yeah, I, I, I've got to do that. I'm going to go with a B. I think this is a solidly good beer. You know, you're never going to see it in a restaurant or a bar. They never sell malt liquors in a restaurant or a bar. At least the ones I go into. But I wish they would because that's what I would get. I'm getting tired of all these weak low taste profile beers although I did drink hams last night <laughs> anyway Les Les Bon Temps Roulet this is a good beer in my opinion and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to lovely Louisiana